Y'all already know who it is, Beans Valentino. Right now, here with Tulip. You know how we do it. So I was born in Colorado, but I've been raised in New Mexico my entire life. So you know, definitely in Budke. Um, it's really just my parents, uh, just essentially, you know, some unfortunate events, you know, we got raided, don't want to get into all that, but long story short, we had to move out here, and, you know, I've been just here ever since, grinding. I don't know, so I started when I was five, and coming up, it's always been, you know, like I started with, like, small car shows, things like that, went to the lowrider events, and really, it was, you know, very slow, and I think it's, like, more the, the age. Um, I feel like Albuquerque, for the longest time, was, like, very behind. Only, like, the past, like, four or five years, we've really had, like, actual, like, new age artists here in Albuquerque. So I just kind of remember everything used to be very lack. Very, very old school. There wasn't a lot of new, new age, but I feel like now we're finally developing, where we actually got at that new age music, and I, you know, fuck with that a lot, because that's that's how I'm going for. Mm, honestly, I really feel like it was just kind of like the culture here. I don't know. I feel like it's a little very, um, I guess, Cholo-esque over here. I feel like SPM. I'm, I just remember a bunch of people loved SPM over here and all that. And it was very influential. So I think that's really what kept like the Cholo scene here a lot longer than like other cities, per se. Honestly, I feel like that would have just been, for the most part, just all the kids growing up. I feel like almost like my generation. I know when I was like in middle school, that's like when X and all them were getting really big. And that's like, I guess, the, like, you know, I guess the new new age sound and I feel like that's when like all the people in high school at that time would have been graduating and all the artists that would want to pursue music they would have probably adapted to that sound so I really think it would have been just a lot of mix of just you know the times and just the generation being influenced by people like X you know a uh, little pump smoke purpose to name a few Honestly, I have a lot of good memories. For sure, I remember I opened up for Snoop Dogg. Um, he did a show out here. I just remember the entire night, I was just, I was waiting backstage. I was just waiting for him to do his set and then come off. And I just remember as soon as he walked off stage, I handed him my hat, got his autograph. I was like, I think six or seven at the time. I was so fucking happy. And I just remember that was, that was a great moment. Just, he was just smooth with it. He just grabbed it, just did it real quick. And it was, I was like, fuck yeah. I don't know, really just, uh, I don't get some bad moments. I don't have a lot of bad moments, but I'll admit, you know, we've all been there coming up. You definitely have, like, performed at dead shows before, you know, where you're only, like, you know, only maybe, like, 10 people tops, and, you know, you still gotta put on a show for them, but, you know, you just kind of, it's not, it's not the best. It's not the best experience, but, you know, we've all gotta start somewhere. Definitely your team and the people around you that just keep pushing you to do better, honestly. Because, I don't know, definitely I feel like you can... It's, it's really easy to put yourself down, especially like when you're in those situations where you're like, damn, I'm just doing these like small shows, like, I, you know, I can't like catch a break. But then it's just like those people you have in your corner that are just like, you know, nah, you're, you're gonna make it, you're gonna fucking do it, like, you're too hot to not make it. It's those people that honestly just keep you really going and keep you motivated. Oh, uh, it's a term that I came up with from like a uh, middle school, but I like I like to call it lyrical drip. Where I, cause I, I'm very, I, I love lyrical, you know, I'm very um, inspired by it. Biggie and his wordplay, Logic, Tech 9 you know, but very like lyrical artists that just, that just spit, I love them. But then of course I also love that new age, like the beats, just the, you know, almost the sauciness that goes in all the new age music. And I kind of incorporate both where it's like, you know, I can keep it lyrical cause you know, I, I, at the end of the day I feel like that's what rap is, is like lyrics. But of course I love to just add my little sauce to it and add the little, I guess, hip hop into it. That'll make it, I guess more radio play and all. I remember it was Logic that kind of first got me really um, inspired to start doing like more lyrical things. And then really, I don't know, really just my influence of music. I don't know, Logic, like I said, was a big one who I feel like he would do a bunch of lyrical things, but then he had, um, oh, what's the album? Bobby Tarotino 2, which was like more like, it was more trappy. I just feel like he, he was definitely a big inspiration of showing like, you know, you can do things that are like more boom bap or more like lyrical old school, but you can also have some new age shit that like goes hard just for the other fans. And just really just trying to appease all the fans that you have, you know, like the people that love the lyrics, you're like, you know, here's a song for you guys. But the people that are like, you know, I'm not so big on lyrics. I just really love the beats and just love the flows. And it's like, all right, here, here's another song for you. I think that was definitely a big inspiration. Oh yeah. Yeah, Hop Hopson is definitely stupid. I love um he has that uh feature with NF with Lost. I think that song goes fucking hard. I don't know. NF, fucking okay, Hopson, of course Eminem. All of them fuck they just slog with the mic. So my most popular song. So in term in terms of like YouTube plays, um for like my music video, it'd probably it'd be my uh, Andale that I did I think it was eighth grade. 
and I think it's at like a little over 10k views. Um, but I think now like my more new age and like definitely trending more on like Spotify and like all my other streaming platforms would definitely be Mary Jane. That one is doing like even to this day like without like because like I, I really kind of stop promoting it. I don't really do much, but it still gets like you know steady plays throughout the months. And so definitely that song for sure. Just a lot of the fans loved it. My personal favorite. There's too much, but honestly, I feel like one of my personal, personal favorite that I love, and I, I still listen to, and it's, it's honestly a bit older, but it'd be my, uh, my 60 Bars of Doom. I think it's a, it's on YouTube, but I don't know. I just thought I want to do it. I don't know. It was like my mood. I was just kind of like, I guess kind of like sick of like the rap game, the rap scene, and just not getting respect. Because it was at the time where I was transitioning more into, I guess, an adult, and like they weren't, people were finally not looking to me as a kid anymore. They were like, okay, no, he's actually like somewhat serious about this. We can actually take him serious. So I, I made a song and just just 60 bars, no hook, no anything. It was just straight bars throughout the entire thing. And that was definitely one of my personal favorites. So Beans has just always been a nickname for me since I was little. Um, I don't know, I think, I think my mom just gave it to me. It was a, uh, cause when I was first born, I, was, I guess I was a little fat baby. So I was Pinto Beans and that's what they all called me. But then I like grew up and I like skinnied out and then I was a green bean. But then eventually they just realized that it's just, it's too long. So they, now it's just, it was just kept it to Beans. And I don't know, I guess when I, yeah, really it was just always a nickname. And then the Z, I don't know, I think it just really adapted. I honestly really want to say my dad probably added the Z like when I first started to like make it more stand out more and then the valentino that's just my middle name so that's where you know we just were like that sounds hot <laughs> that sounds like a hot ass artist name so we're like fuck it beans valentino the word so for future plans and goals definitely i'm just really focusing on my social medias right now so i have a lot of music like just ready to be released and i, I definitely just want to focus on getting my social media up and getting like that up that way i can start promoting my music and like because I, I just feel like i have a lot of hot songs in my opinion you know they uh, they underperform with like views and all that. I'm like, you know, I want I want them to get like hundreds of thousands of views that I feel like they deserve to have. So I definitely want to start getting my socials up and just start promoting that. Uh, just, you know, hopefully getting at least good amount of checks fucking from social media. Instagram, I need to start on TikTok, but I just keep procrastinating it. But fucking Instagram for sure right now, I'm actually getting paid off of the reels. So I've just been really just focusing on my Instagram reels and just trying to get that up. Um, but yeah, really just Instagram and YouTube. I've been, uh, I've been doing a little bit of YouTube short just to like see how those do because I, I haven't really experienced with the YouTube platform too much but other than that really just getting a steady um, like I said I have a bunch of unreleased music so I'm just trying to get a steady flow of like every other week dropping a song and just doing good on like promoting it for like a week dropping and getting the buzz and then you know promoting it after it's dropped for another week and then just repeating that and that's really just my goal is just slowly just steady all the music I have ready to release but also like still trying to promote it so they all do the numbers that I feel like they deserve share share share. I don't I feel like because um, even the recent video, Wake and Bake, I did, I just, it, it jumped to like 4k views in probably like the first 4 or 5 days. But it was just because I, I just kept sharing. Like even though I know people, even like people already knew, had heard about it or fucking seen it, just share to do them again. Just keep sharing and sharing. And honestly, and also just getting those people in your corner, like I said, that will share it. Because at the end of the day, I mean, like I said, this is going to start paying for marketing, for like professional marketing, for the people to do it for you. Really, you just got to do it yourself. You just have to have your team, your friends, family, anyone. One, just to hit the simple share button and it helps so much. I don't know, yeah, you're definitely just sharing for sure. Um, and then like I said, like until you get to that next level where you actually can pay for like an actual marketing team to do it for you. Honestly, I fuck with the local scene. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm very glad that we're finally grown and adapted. Cause like I just remember younger. I have a, I don't know, I'm like I have a couple SPM songs, shit like that. But I'm never like I'm not a big like you know cholo fan. So it was never like my cup of tea. And I'm very glad New Mexico and Albuquerque in general has grown out of that. And we're getting uh, artists that are like, having other styles, almost like Suicide Boys, X, and just that new age shit. And I really feel like it's very really good, you know. And it's what Albuquerque needed. Just to stay fresh, especially because I feel like there's not any big artists that have really made it out of Albuquerque And I feel like this was the change we needed to actually get some artists names on the map Because like it's actually like music that other cities and other, you know, states are listening to So I feel like that was definitely a good change I mean, throughout the mainstream, honestly, right now, it's just, I focus it for the most part. Um, I'm not, like, that big on, like, social media, like, mainstream. Like, I don't really keep up too much with it. I just have, like, my couple um, artists. But, like, definitely Dreamville, very in inspired by them and what they do with J. Cole, all of them. J.I.D., fucking love J.I.D., I don't know, his new album, shit go hard. But, yeah, definitely just 
I don't know. I guess artists like that that are like, I don't know. It's just they're adding like their own, uh, I guess, style onto it. And I feel like that's definitely what I'm loving about people actually expressing themselves for who are even tired of the creator with his uh, call me if you get lost. I don't know. It's just, I guess, artists finally able to express themselves however they want and they'll get a fan base because everyone, everyone wants something. Your music will appeal to some or appeal to some audience at the end of the day. And I feel like that's definitely good because it's no longer just, oh, you have to make a radio song or you have to do this. And like, no, you still have to like a little bit just for like, you know, marketing numbers and all that. But I definitely feel like we're at a point where artists can finally express themselves and the audience is okay with it and will actually still share it. Especially with TikTok and how um, audios can be used. It's really easier, I feel like, for mainstream artists to be themselves and not have to worry about just radio plays because they know they'll be getting income from other sorts. On, on God, I feel like there has to be, you know, I just feel like there's no way like I know the Bible and that they don't mention or anything But I just I just can't believe that like God is like, you know, what? there's this big-ass universe And I just just put the humans on earth and there's nothing else. I'm like, no, I can't believe that like there's too many planets too many galaxies and I don't know I just feel like I don't know there's just way too much like space and matter out there There's no way that there can't be any other forms of life forms. I just I can't believe it and that to be my dad's dad makes some bussin' bureau tacos. Like that that shit's definitely has to be my favorite with a little, little dipping sauce. Definitely just keep pushing and like I said, get a team that will support you and is actually like in your corner. Cause no, there'll be times where you're gonna get discussion. You're gonna get like broken down where you're like, damn, you know, I'm not gonna make it. Or you're like, maybe this ain't for me. But it's like I said, it's those those people in your corner and like your team that's with you that keeps pushing you and motivating you. They're gonna be the ones that are gonna build you up. So definitely just get yourself a solid team and just keep grinding. Don't stop. Like don't listen to the haters. Just keep doing you. Like I said, we all start somewhere. It's like I, I'm like I have songs that I started with that I, I I will never bump ever again. Cause like it's just too you know it's not. You know, in my opinion, I'm just like, it's not good. And like I said, we all start somewhere. So just don't be discouraged. Just keep growing as an artist, as a person, and just keep grinding. And, you know, if you're like really, if you really want to make it, you'll make it. So that all I gotta say is you already know, Wake and Bake, out on all platforms. We also have, I don't know, I don't know when this will be out, but October 14th, Dirt's dropping all platforms. So if it's out, go ahead and check it out. If it's not, then stay tuned. Honestly, I want to say it was from my pop, because I, I saw like your social media and all that, and like I, I definitely like knew like I knew you were a video guy, but until I actually like met you, it definitely would have been through my pops. I just remember, um, I want to say it was that one time you pulled up the Southwest 16, was it? I want to say you pulled up that one time, and I just remember I think that was like the first time I actually like met you, met you, and like in person. Um, but yeah, really just social media first, and then how I like formally met you would have been just through my pops. All right, well this has been Beans Valentino. I appreciate you for giving me your time. Fucking too lit. Thank you for having me here. You already know too lit promotion. Go check them out. Check out the videos. Make some clean work. Peace out. <laughs>